Tuesday and the next couple of Tuesdays, it's all about the coupon crunching, our series of savings advice to pinch the most pennies out of the coupons that you clip. And Betsy and Tracy is here from the Warren County Extension Office once again. Um, a couple of different strategies today to help you save even more money than what you're already saving with your coupons. That's right. right. That's right. Price booking is a huge way that you can save a lot of money. Uh, and actually, you don't even have to keep on. A lot of people keep on in addition to price booking. But price booking, you know, it's not a huge adjustment. It's just something that you kind of, you start out, you're really looking for finding the rock bottom prices on a lot of those staple items that you use. I mean, how many times are we at a grocery store and we see something that's on sale, but we ask, is that really a good buy? And so because it's hard to keep up with what is a good sale and what isn't a good sale. So what I recommend to people is to start price booking. And I, I recommend for them to do it just a little bit at a time. You know, don't start price booking everything that you normally buy at the grocery store, which like you said, you were looking online and I was reading about price booking and thought, this looks like a lot of work. Is it <laughs> worth the effort is what I was wondering. But right, so right. That's right. It can be. And I, what I recommend is starting out small. Okay, exactly. Looking at some of those staple items that you use that you have to buy month after month, mm -hmm. sometimes even on a weekly or a bi-weekly basis. Some of those things like toilet paper or laundry detergent. Okay. Toothpaste, uh, soap, some of those things I recommend you start out price booking because those things you've got to have, they're necessities, and for you to be able to find that lowest price can really save over the long time, just small changes. And so what you really want to do, it's really easy, it's really a cheap method uh, because all you need is you could just use a simple notebook, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Um, some people that like to use spreadsheets online, you know, Excel spreadsheets, if that's kind of your thing, you can use so that. If you have a computer, you can do that. That. Right, okay. if you're all about the computer. I like having a book, though. Yeah, I like a book because then you can kind of carry this with you <laughs> yeah. if you want to, whatever size. You can get a smaller one. Um, we do have a sheet online at warren.ca.uky.edu, and uh, you can actually print off a price book, and then it kind of breaks it down for you. So you might label this one laundry detergent, and you can put the date, the store you're at, uh, the item you bought, the price, and the unit price because they keep changing those um, unit prices on us a lot of times and so you got to be careful with that but you're just going to record okay each week what that price is maybe on maybe you just start out and you're just doing your laundry detergent and writing that down every week so you're journaling basically you're journaling okay. all right yeah you're trying to find out what the sales cycle is for that item most okay. sales run in 12 week cycles okay but not all of them some of them run in eight week cycles and so you're looking to find when that item drops to the bottom price and when that item drops to the bottom price that's when you want to stock up versus just every time you run out of laundry detergent going and having to buy it whether it's you know ten dollars or whether it's five dollars you know what I mean yeah so when you buy it when it's at that that less price you know toothpaste is a great example because what does toothpaste run normally three uh, couple bucks yeah yeah a couple bucks three bucks okay well if you can get it on sale let's say for 50 cents and you can go ahead and buy five tubes of toothpaste, that's gonna save you versus going and buy one maybe when it's three or four dollars. Because sometimes it does get high, especially depending on the type of uh, toothpaste that you use too, of course. Exactly, exactly. So really just recording, comparing, and updating. And if you do that about three to four months, six months is even better, and just do it on a couple items, you're gonna start seeing that cycle. You're gonna start seeing when that base, what that baseline price is. Then you can stock up. So, um, and that kind of leads into stockpiling, which is a huge trend with couponers. Yeah, yeah. Um, and stockpiling really depends on your storage space, if you have enough storage, things like that. But, um, you know, really making your own supply of basic items. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Now, you can learn more about couponing. You've got Couponing 101 yeah. that's yeah. coming up um, actually this week. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow okay. 10 o'clock. Okay, perfect. So people can come by the Extension office for that class? They sure can. Call, sign up, 842-1681. If they want more information, live well in Warren County on Facebook or vis visit us at warren.ca.uky.edu and there's more information on the web. And click on that Warren County Saves Big. That's you right. And uh, win some prizes on there too, right? You sure can. You can enter in your savings for each trip you go to the grocery store. We've got lots of like this price booking sheet. You can print those off, use them, menu planners, all kinds of stuff. Perfect. All right, Betsy, yeah. thank you so much. No problem. Showing us how to price book today. We'll be right back.